For example, there's a lot of data showing that you need way less volume to maintain muscle than you need to build muscle. This classic study from Bickle and colleagues had subjects run two phases back to back, a high volume phase and a low volume phase. For the high volume phase, they hit their legs three days a week. Each workout had three sets of squats, three sets of leg press, and three sets of leg extensions. That's 27 sets per week just for their quads. And they did that for 16 weeks. Then half the subjects entered a super low volume phase where they dropped their workload down to, get this, one set for each exercise once a week. That means they went from 27 sets down to three. And guess what happened to their gains? They maintained 100% of their size and strength for another 16 weeks. Oh, and then another 16 weeks after that. They maintained their gains for 32 weeks. That's 224 days doing just one set per exercise, three sets total a week, that's it. And there were 70 subjects in that study. Some of them actually kept making gains during the low volume phase. And to really drive this home, a brand new low volume study from September of this year, so just last month, was just published. In this paper, Herman and colleagues had 42 resistance trained subjects run a low volume program, two full body workouts per week with just one set per exercise. Each workout took about 30 minutes. They split everyone doing that low volume program into a failure group and a non-failure group. The failure group obviously went to failure. The non-failure group left two reps in reserve. Other than that, both groups were following that 30 minute workout twice a week low volume plan. And after eight weeks of one set per exercise per workout, both groups made significant gains. The failure group tended to grow better overall though. So this new study tells us two really important things. First, on a low volume program, going to failure seems to work better. And perhaps more importantly, it tells us that even experienced trainees can make gains on a low volume program. Volume might not be the king that we thought. 